Hey guys, what is up? So today we're gonna play Octonaut, which is kind of a fun little shoot 'em up game that is about to release on Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. Um, but first, before we get into that, I wanted to show you guys a couple things I got in the mail today. Um, I got this Jack 4 case from Limited Run. Um, there is no game inside, but there is a digital voucher for, I guess, a dynamic Jack 4 theme. Um, and I think that was for ordering all three Jack and Daxter limited editions. So just kind of a cool little extra that they send out. Um, and then I got some Xbox pins. I don't know, I might start getting into collecting these or something, I don't know, they're kind of cool. Got Super's Lucky, Super Lucky's Tail, an Elite Controller pin, uh, Circle Xbox pin for Pride Month, and then also the XO19 version, and then the adaptive controller, which is kind of cool. I guess Xbox has a whole bunch of like limited edition pins and stuff like that, but I don't know. I thought those were kind of fun, so I got some of those. And then also I've got a fun little contest thing planned for next month, so uh, I'll get into more details on that as it gets closer. Anyway, so let's get to it. Octonaut is a quirky 16-bit quality shoot 'em up with a healthy coat of polish. The world is being taken over by aliens and it's up to you, an almighty octopus, to save humans from disaster. <laughs> the sound effects are a little plain. The sound of the standard shot continually firing gets old pretty quick. However, the music easily makes up for that. The music completely fits what I imagine a quirky shoot 'em up should sound like. It's hard to describe, but it just has that vibe to it, and I really like it. As for the graphics, now it could be my Super Nintendo nostalgia talking, but this has got some of the nicest looking 16-bit sprite art I've seen in a while. The UI, the stages, everything is vibrant, dithered nicely with parallax scrolling. Even the fonts look really nice. Really everything about it resonates with me. Although I realize it's not gonna be for everyone, I know a lot of it is my own personal preferences, but I love this art style. I also really like the dodge mechanism in this shoot 'em up. So with dodge, you'll be able to swerve into the background temporarily. This will allow you to dodge attacks, walls, and enemies for a brief moment. Afterwards, you'll need to wait a couple seconds for it to recharge before using it again. There were only a couple of spots in the game where it was absolutely necessary to use this ability, but a lot of the game was designed to be much easier when utilizing this. Now, I will say I felt that most of the weapon power-ups were pretty underwhelming. Most of the weapons I tried out were met with regret, as I wished I could switch back to my normal shot, but it wouldn't let me. I did really like this boomerang shot, though, whatever it's called, because it not only quickly shot in front of me, but it also hit enemies behind me as well. The other thing is I did have a little bit of trouble making out solid walls from the background in at least one of the stages. I think this could have been a little bit better defined. The game is also pretty short. It took me about an hour to get through all of the stages in normal mode. However, you can always replay for a higher score or try out panic mode or custom mode to increase the difficulty or decrease it if you want. Just keep in mind, it is a budget title. Overall, I think it's a fun little title. If you're into 16-bit style shoot 'em ups I'd say check it out. The achievements or trophies are also pretty easy to obtain in this, if that helps. Octonaut will be available on June 24th or 25th, depending on the platform, for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Alright guys, 
Thanks for watching. Until next time, I will see you later.